In the past four years of her operations, research vessel Falcor has traveled more than 195,000 kilometers, three times around the world. This past year has been an exciting one, building a brand new 4,500 meter depth remotely operated vehicle and expanding our already global reach to places like Vietnam, Fiji, and Tonga. Schmidt Ocean Institute has brought innovation and advanced technology to ocean sciences, exploring our world's oceans and sharing cutting edge science. This is Schmidt Ocean Institute's Year in Review. Innovate, explore, share. Falcor explored the largest oxygen minimum zone in the world using a new protein biomarker technology for the first time. The science team was able to sample seawater to identify long-term changes in expanding deoxygenated zones and the significance of this on microbial interactions in the ocean. The science team on Falcor demonstrated a new 3D imaging technology in Tongan waters, mapping a 30,000 square meter hydrothermal vent field. This is the largest area of seafloor ever imaged with one centimeter resolution. The footage is now suitable for virtual reality, allowing scientists all over the world to study the site from the comfort of their lab. Falcor hosted a team of scientists who investigated the marine life inhabiting nearby vent sites that may be a target for future deep sea mining. Understanding the function and interactions of species living in the area contributes to a 10 year time series providing critical assessment of the ecosystem and giving policymakers a better understanding of how to protect these unique environments. Falcor traveled to Vietnam trying to understand how rapid changes in land use are impacting the coastal waters of the Mekong River and South China Sea. This is the first systematic and comprehensive assessment looking at the chemical and biological processes of the river's interactions and the ocean using more than 50 CTD casts. This year, we completed the construction of ROV Sebastian, an amazing feat for Schmidt Ocean Institute. Sebastian was integrated onto Falcor, and sea trials placed ROV Sebastian in real-world conditions, demonstrating its functionality as a modern research tool. Falcor returns to Guam for continued operational testing and training with ROV Sebastian. Future 4K high-resolution video footage collected with Sebastian will be openly shared with scientists and interested public around the world. Following verification, Falcor will return to the Mariana back arc with ROV Sebastian to image and sample three hydrothermal vents that we discovered in the region last year. Schmidt Ocean Institute has contributed to the global effort to map the world's ocean. In the past four years, Falcor has been able to map 400,000 square miles of the ocean floor in high definition using multi-beam echo sanding technology. These maps led to discovery of new underwater features including an 8,000 meter depth region of the Mariana Trench. This year, Schmidt Ocean Institute worked with NOAA's Office of Exploration and Research to collaborate on mapping data collected in Guam. The maps created by both Falcor and NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer were collated into a poster to increase high-definition mapping visibility in the region. We also collaborated with NASA and Columbia University to produce a high-resolution map of a newly formed volcanic island in Tonga. Since our beginning, Schmidt Ocean Institute has hosted more than 450 scientists representing nearly 90 institutions in 20 countries. Sharing the work that we do is critical to our mission. This year, more than 30 ROV dives were broadcast live from Falcor, totaling more than 221,000 minutes watched in 95 different countries. This video, along with our other shipboard data, remains freely available online. 
In 2016, Schmidt Ocean Institute provided educational tours of Falkor for more than 500 people and presented to 12,000 participants through community, classroom, and conference presentations. We conduct outreach in communities surrounding our research locations. This year, Schmidt Ocean Institute co-founder Wendy Schmidt also gave a presentation to students at the University of Hawaii and sat down for student-led discussion. Schmidt Ocean Institute brings Falkor to audiences globally through our Ship to Shore program and live Google Hangouts on air. This year, we celebrated World Ocean Day with the first tri-ship hangout with EV Nautilus, NOAA ship Oceanus Explorer, and Falkor. We had live hangouts with the ROV Sebastian engineering team, scientists on board Falkor, and artists at sea participants. Training the next generation of ocean scientists is a high priority for us, as demonstrated by the 261 graduate students who have participated on expeditions aboard Falkor and through our Student Opportunities Program. 2016 marked the start of our Artist at Sea program. We hosted artists aboard Falkor on six cruises. Projects range from crocheting the first CTD data set to painting bathymetric maps into beautiful abstract arts, to visual creations with pH data. Other artists use digital animation, music composition, and cartoon arts. These artists tell the story of the scientists and the research being conducted at sea. Schmidt Ocean Institute has come a long way since Falkor's first shakedown cruise in 2012. Our partnerships and collaborations help us to support ocean science and technology and to continue our mission to innovate, explore, share.